Hi everyone, this video is about baby feeding bottle standards and regulations in the EU. The topics today we will be covering include EN standard, regulations, and directives on baby feeding bottles safety in the EU. The first one we will talk about is EN 14350. This is an EN standard that um, covers drinking equipment that are intended to be used by infants from 0 to 48 months. This standard is harmonized under the General Product Safety Directive and is um, treated as the national standards in the European Union. And the product scope covered by this standard include reusable and single-use baby bottles and containers and um, other drinking accessories. Um, so with the containers such as the, um, um, the feeding teeth and the um, protective cover and the lead and um, the handle and other accessories of a drinking container. And this standard spe specifies the requirements relating to design and technical, chemical and labeling requirements. Um, about the testing standards, this um, EN 14350 does not specify a uniform testing standard for the cover products because this standard concerns the safety of all components of a baby's drinking bottle, um, such as the mouthpiece, the feeding spout, the straw and protective cover, the feeding teat, the drinking cup, the handle and other accessories of a baby's drinking bottle. Um, that's why uh, this standard refers to other EN standards such as EN 71.3 um, on migration of certain elements and EN 71.1 on small parts as reference standard. This regulation is an amendment document of the other regulation, um, the, which is the food contact um, plastic food content materials regulation and this regulation um, bans the use of bisphenol A in materials used to manufacture um, plastic infant feeding bottles and plastic spill proof drinking cups or bottles that are intended to use by infants and young children. This directive regulates the teats and soothers that are made or contain elastomer or rubber. And this rule applies to baby feeding bottles that contain the teats that are made of elastomer or rubber. And it established the migration limits of um, these two chemical substances, which is N nitrosamines and N nitrostatable, which are carcinogens on the defined subjects. Um, the EU Food Content Materials Framework Regulation is an umbrella regulation that covers several regulations that um, um, regulate the safety of um, food content materials. And here we picked out three um, regulations that are most likely to be related to plastic baby feeding bottles. Um, um, for example, the first one, um, plastic food content materials regulation uh, regulates plastic materials and articles that are intended to come into contact with food which cover plastic materials that are used to produce infants drinking bottle 
um, it set up the migration limit standards for certain heavy metals and chemical substances such as lead, copper, and chromium. And um, if you want to know more about um, the other standards, you can check out our articles um, on compliancegate.com, which um, includes a lot of details. And um, for manufacturers or importers of um, baby feeding bottles um, in the EU, um, you should also be concerning about uh, other requirements under this framework regulations, such as um, having a valid um, declaration of compliance um, for your product and also observe good manufacturing practice during the during the production process and also having a um, traceability information uh, on your label. REACH is also applicable to children's um, drinking bottles, especially since 2017, the REACH put BPA into the candidate list of substances of very high concern, which is shortened as SVHC. And it requires that the concentration level of BPA should be less than 0.1% by weight in baby bottles. Um, other than BPA, REACH also restrict the level of other chemicals or heavy metals that can be contained in baby bottles, such as lead and phthalates. That's why um, you should contact a lab testing company to confirm all the up-to-date and applicable substance um, restrictions to, on your product prior to sales in the EU. Um, okay, that's all for today. Um, um, I hope you have learned something from this video. And you can check out our articles on um, baby feeding bottle regulations and standards in the EU on compliancegate.com, which I will leave a link in the description below this video. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.